Welcome back to Saturday AM. We are coming to you live all morning from the St. Patrick's Day Parade. We've actually just nipped in out of the cold to talk to this v VIP, the Grand Marshal of the St. Patrick's Festival Parade 2018, Mr. Liam Cunningham. How are you, sir? Not too bad, Laura. I'm in grand form. Uh, now, the last time we were chatting, it was the day that you were announced as the Grand Marshal. Mm -hmm. It was a really exciting day. Actually, the first day of the snow, That's if you right. remember. Uh, but now, a couple of weeks later, here we are. The day has come. What was the excitement and the prep and like, the build-up to the whole thing? Oh, it's been fantastic. I mean, you know, it's it's this is the once a year. It's 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 the biggest thing we have. This is you know you have to remember this is the national parade yeah. technically. Yeah. Well, there's parades going on all around the country, and it's wonderful. I, I for many years I used to come home and go straight to the news and have a look and see see all the small towns with their parades. And it, it's there's a remarkable warm feeling of this. There's a feeling of goodwill, and it's uh, it's just fantastic to be part of it. That's actually so true. I was mentioning earlier on that when we were walking up this morning at half seven, the cafes were all open. They were filling up already with families mm. and friends, small little ones, age two and three, right up to, you know, the older generation, all out to enjoy the day. It's so inclusive. And that's what the theme is this year, home. Yeah, it is, yeah. And it's very important. And it's not just this is our home. It's, it's also for people who this place is their new home. And there's a wonderful inclusivity here that's that's uh, that's that's really important. And, uh, and you know, we have our old... Cade Mila Falch, 100,000 welcomes, and, and, and there's a, there was a wonderful, I don't know if anybody, if your viewers have seen uh, Michael D. Higgins' speech, his, his St. Patrick's Day speech, I almost had a tear in me, I, I, his most beautiful words, it was like poetry out of the man's mouth, fantastic, fantastic ambassador for this country, and, and it was just wonderful what he said, with his reference to the diaspora, and also the people that, are, the new people that have come here, and that's, it's, it's very heartwarming, and it's what we're good at welcoming people and i suppose what you're talking about there being all inclusive st patrick's festival in a sense was ahead of its time because over the last 30 40 50 years your people more people have been coming from all over the world as you said it's a global initiative yeah. people have been coming here to participate into yeah. the parade and i couldn't believe the stats as well in terms of tourism know, generating huge. 70 million of revenue it's not bad is it? i wouldn't mind a cut of that <laughs> you might get one your grand marshal more chance than i have <laughs> i'll invoice them yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> incredible that sense of belonging so yeah. no matter where you were born you're here on this day yeah. or at a parade as you say around yeah. the country on this day yeah no it's a wonderful thing and the people that are here that the, 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 our job is even if they're only here for the weekend they should feel like it's their home and uh, and it's, it's a wonderful thing it's a simple word but it's a complicated ideal and it's a beautiful ideal now you're a man very much in demand today there are people itching to drag you away from me now what is the port of call what are you doing next uh, i'll be led from here we go up to uh, grafton street there's a there's a, a breakfast in there it's going to be a long day uh, we'll be rubbing the hands together to try and keep them warm. I've got all sorts of stuff. People are coming over to send me, what clothes will I bring? And I said, all of them. You, you don't know whether to wear your bikini or your puffer jacket. So we'll have to go out and see what, see what happens as, a, as the day progresses. But should we muddle through? We've always muddled through. If the weather's not great, we muddle through. If, at the occasional time, we get a bit of sunshine. So we'll be fingers crossed, see how we get on. Well, it'd be an absolute shame to ruin that gorgeous suit you're wearing. You look so <laughs> smart. But I think you're missing a bit of a je ne sais quoi, so I'd like to pass over that, that look my hair band. For you. I think that is is nice it, me, is it my colour? A fitting It matches tribute. my eyes. I have green <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Listen, the best of luck today, Liam. Thank you so much Thanks, for joining Laura. us this morning and enjoy it all. Thank you. Back to Anna and Simon now.